Greatest Cards of All Time podcast number 37. Let's take a look at Russell Wilson. Some cards and his career. These are rookie cards we're going to be taking a look at today while talking about Russell Wilson. 2012 Tops Platinum, number 138 in the set. In a Mint 9 holder, so that's always cool to see from PSA. And a 2012 Tops Finest, one of my favorite collections. I love Tops Finest. Number 140 in the set. Also a Mint 9 in a holder, so these cards present really well. Super cool moments in history here. Russell Wilson, one of the best to play the game at that position, in my opinion. That's right. This is actually the first time we're covering football on the podcast. We've ripped some packs, so I think that's kind of cool. I think that's fitting right now. This is at least the first Sunday of the season as far football, as the time we're football. recording. Exactly. Um, yeah, so one of, the, one of the best quarterbacks right now. I, I think he's undervalued i guess as far as collectors are concerned in my opinion and um two super bowl appearances two, won one lost one some would argue actually or a, some of the stats would argue he has had the best first 10 years of any quarterback in the history consistently the history great numbers really NFL. consistently great numbers i found this article that i just want to talk about talk about a couple of the numbers it's actually stats proving that the Broncos' Russell Wilson is the safest QB investment ever. Uh, <laughs> as you may know, he just signed a five-year extension worth $245 million. Like I referenced before, he is actually the winningest quarterback through his first 10 years in NFL history. He has 113 wins. In those first 10 years, he's been a Pro Bowl nine years to the Super Bowl twice, is a Super Bowl champion, was the 2020 Walter Payton Man of the Year. The guy has done a ton already. I think those numbers prove he is one of the best. And some other stats here that I thought was interesting. This was actually in the article, but something I noticed too. There are actually only four quarterbacks with a 100 or higher passer rating throughout their career. And Russell Wilson is one of the four. He happens to be fourth. So number one, Patrick Holmes, still a young quarterback, you know, not a huge sample size that may go down, may go up, who knows. Aaron Rodgers, 104.5. Deshaun Watson is also 104.5. And then you got Russell Wilson at 101.8. Great college career, too, on this kid. You could kind of see, you know, his trajectory was going to be amazing. I really remember distinctly his college his big college games i mean he had some doozies playing in a rose bowl so i mean really set him up for success in the pros right and we're that really his... seeing that this is still is this still his prime i would say yes still after this trade young. you're yeah, you're, still... you're you're getting a legend in his prime so right really really fantastic and his college career consisted of uh, NC State Wolfpack he played for and then transferred over to University of Wisconsin and played with the Badgers. He had some sick games with the Badgers, sure. too. So I got a lot of exposure. I am a Badger fan, so I definitely enjoyed watching him play for Wisconsin. I mean, he's the best quarterback. He's got wheels. He can run all over the field. He can throw the ball, and he can throw the ball laterally, too, right. so he can throw it on the move great touch i mean all he's lacking is size and i think that was a, a a big concern for most of these colleges right taking a look at him um and even on his way into the nfl too he wasn't a uh, wasn't a first rounder wasn't a starter right away right. you know matt flynn was going to get that playing time but that's how good russell wilson was showing that you couldn't consciously right not start him you know what i mean so for sure and you know right now Still early on in his career, he's probably done enough to be in the Hall of Fame. And to kind of support some of that, I just want to talk about, we talk about the war quite often when we're talking about baseball players, baseball cards, you know, a, a player's career. In football, it's a little different. They use approximate value, I guess. So AV for short, 
Russell's at 158, which currently ranks number 48, and that's including retired players. So another player that's in the Hall of Fame that is at 158 for, for the AV, that's uh, Ladanian Tomlinson. He is in the Hall Stunt. of Fame at Legend. 158. Of course. Somebody just above him, 159, Mike Singletary. So Mike Singletary is number 47 overall. He is in the Hall of Fame. And just a couple other I want to go over. Not specific names, but there are four individuals tied for 50. Okay, so that's an AV value of 157. All four of those players are in the Hall of Fame. So four players directly below Russell Wilson and AV number are in the Hall of Fame. Same individual at, at 48 tied with him. The individual above him at 159. With that, I mean, how could you argue the guy hasn't already done enough to make the Hall of Fame? I really like this rookie card here, 2012 Tops Platinum Russell Wilson. Very shiny card, almost, you know, I mentioned that because it's almost like a, a mirrored finish. Both of these cards we're going to be looking at. You do get the rookie card insignia in the bottom right-hand corner. Gotta love that. Makes it painfully obvious that you're looking at a Russell Wilson rookie card. Uh, gotta love this set. I like that tops. Well, here's, you know, I'm not a huge football collector. We actually went to... It's a, premium football, Premium baby. football. Well, hey, if it's an undervalued card, I'll pick it up. If I feel like this is an undervalued card, yeah. undervalued player, yeah. we were actually at a card show when I picked both of these up. Yeah. I normally go to a card show and buy baseball. Great pickups, I think. Well, you know, it was kind of a dead show. This was maybe last winter. I don't know if it was playoff season, but Russell Wilson was not in the It was playoffs. off season. It was I off think. season, yeah. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. And I kept kind of walking away from this dealer. He was trying to get me to commit to buy it, and I was just basically kind of like, you know, look, if it's a great deal, maybe. I think it was a week before the Super Bowl, actually. Yeah, you're right. You know, it that was. gap in the schedule there. That's right. and. Joe Burrow was about to play, and his cards were twelve fifty, I think. I right, saw. and we were yeah. laughing and yeah. looking at those. I'll take things. the Russell Wilson. Right. How about maybe. the Hall of Famer right now that I can buy for yeah. relatively cheap? He's not done playing. Active player still. And it's from 2012. Active legends. The print runs are going to be lower on these than a player that's out in the last couple of years, too. So that's another factor. And it's a premium product. Beautiful looking card. I do really like, yeah, the... It almost looks like a refractor. It's not, but... Framed up real nice. Like Russell the, Wilson's got the ball high and tight. The green around Classic. the bottom, I think that's a nice touch with the uniform. Yep. The green around the logo and what have you. I just It, it does really have a nice, sharp look. Um, I usually don't like the way football cards look, but this one does look sharp. The rookie card logo is a must, in my opinion. And like I said, I was walking away multiple times. The guy just kept knocking $10 off, $5 off, so... That's why I picked them up, and I picked them up as as a lot. So I ended up picking both of them up, I want to say, for around $75. This next one, the 2012 Finest Russell Wilson, is actually slightly lower value uh, than, than the Platinum, but personally, I think it looks cooler. I like the way this card looks. Um, again, framed up nicely. Again, framed up yeah. nice. You know, the green, I just, I like the way that green looks with the with the shiny silver background. Yeah, 100%. Um, you know, as far as him being a Hall of Famer, I know we briefly touched on it. 100%. I wanted to look at just a couple other quarterbacks around that approximate value. Also, kind of like the yeah, war for a baseball player. Yeah, that's a great idea, player. yeah. I took a look at a couple that actually had a lower AV that are in the Hall of Fame. Bob Greasy, AV 138. Terry Bradshaw, an AV of 140. Really? Again, Russell already has an AV of 158, and he has several years ahead of him. Who knows? Maybe some more Super Bowls. Maybe, you know, MVP. I could see any of that happening. 